I'm a go outside. Yeah, the main gate. You go see me till you find. Come, go deal with them. The state of web series is like your love life. Non-existent! <laughs> When I found out Skinny Girl in Transit was coming back, I immediately shouted, YES! Finally! My channel will get views. <laughs> Sorry, um, can't wait to see it, um, the, the, their new installment. That's what I was meant to say. One big problem I feared SGIT would have is that the last time we watched Skinny Girl was probably three years ago. And I mostly forgot everything about the show. I only remember we took a Ghana actor and made him the most hated man in Nigeria. Since then, no Nigerian has ever put him in any web series. I want to fight. Jasper there! I want to kill you there! Had he been here, I know you now, I give you a dirty slap. What do you want? What are you saying? So, yes, dive in with me as we review the new episode of Skinny Girl in Transit, episode 1, and give our expectations for episode 2. So, you see why the title is like that. Hi, my name is Prince of the Wacko's Review. We'll say much. Like, subscribe, comment, give me your babe's number, and then roll in through. I really loved how they wasted no time and immediately started off with showing us a baby naming ceremony. We then get to see what the baby would like, like cake, more cakes, sugar, of course, and most importantly, cola nuts. Today would also be the day they give him his chief dancing title. Tiwa gives us the gist that it's been seven days since they had the child, and that's amazing. But the problem here is they are all bored because their mom has taken it as a personal calling to use the whole day for this event. What's the How far? And I have a policy. Alte kids should only be rich children. If you don't come from a wealthy family, you just look weird. <laughs> Chalewa got this reminder for his session, which we don't know yet. When it came down to the name part of the ceremony, everyone had an opportunity to add a name. Her mom dropped a list that looked like um, names of noisemaker. Her sister added me for me, which is not bad. What I had a problem with is why they allowed this guy add a name. <laughs> I don't know you. I've never seen you before in my life. After the party, they gave them money, which I believe all these things are for. Like for instance, wedding is to make money to survive the first year of your marriage and the naming ceremony is to buy pampas. That thing is like 80k bucks. <laughs> Unless you want my child to use nylon. Allow me to extort people please. After the party, Danny took it as a challenge to remind their male audience on how useless we all are. Even though the female audience knew we were, they just had to remind them. I first liked how the house is set up. It looks very clean. But for me, I would actually want my bedroom to be here and my baby's room to be here and my wife's room to be close to it because I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> then the worst thing happened guys. Apparently they switched characters with a known criminal from the men's club. T.Y. is now dating Aminu and we saw this manifest right in front of our eyes. See how much money he gave her. He just kept on dropping bundles on her. I am feeling bad because I haven't given any girl any bundles before. Then he gave her shares in Tesla and Apple and I was like, come on man, this is obviously play play guys. This is make believe. <laughs> These people don't know each other. <laughs> then she was like, no, let me show you how much I appreciate you. And the way she said it, I thought she meant something else. I was like, is it money she wants to give him back? Or is it sex? Maybe she wants to give him a deal. Though. Rolex. It was a Rolex. <laughs> That's what I said. What did you guys get? This is just episode one, so I can predict that this love would not last. Any love that is built upon on money um, doesn't last. But the most important information here is that she said she cannot do the do with him because she just gave birth. She has in Tesla and Apple. This is obviously play play, guys. This is make believe. These people don't know each other. So now let's talk about other characters. Tiwa's mom is now big on YouTube. Yep, she's so big that she's getting brand deals from waist trainers to bleaching companies. And I know they use this to attack creators who take brand deals like that. But I have a rule. If the money enters my account, I am an ambassador. <laughs> it's your fault you believed me. Oh, okay. I say all this to say uh, um, this video is sponsored by Kura Studios. Hi guys, Prince here. Nobody cares about my channel, so we don't actually have a sponsor. This is just my friend. She has a space called Cora Studios. These are pictures of it. Wow! What? I'll put it in edits. Yeah, understand? Anyways, um, if you want to check it out, please check out the link. Is No, the Instagram page is on my forehead. Yeah. Can create podcasts. I believe podcasts will probably cost World War 5. 
All right, bye guys. Back to review. Shalewa is going through a lot in this episode, so the session Ala she got earlier was for therapy, which I genuinely love. But jokes aside, my baby here is down, and I'm here for her. She missed this shrink, and let's just say, if it wasn't that it was my babe, I would have loved this lady and how she handles her job. But you see, Shalewa knows how expensive this session cost, and immediately she spoke about her issues without wasting time. It felt like she saw a magic time accounting down in front of her. And you could see the shrink eyes, she was like, is it? I do this one. <laughs> but this is serious because that Ghana boy did a lot of damage. Now she misses the old days when she trusts men. Honestly, don't trust men. <laughs> I spent the last few weeks running away from Mohammed. And if I'm being honest, I miss him so much. Maybe it's because it's a familiar love. Right? This woman will not answer you. She's trying to make you talk forever, guy. Chalua comes to the answer in record time. The therapy did not work because just the next day, a random guy that was buying monster drink, I think, held her or was trying to catch her. And she thought he was the Ghana boy. This boy, this guy, eh? But why did this guy follow the package? There was like actual space. Like, it's clumsy. And was there? Was there anything in that package? <laughs> On the other end, Mohamed has been going through a lot and I love it for him. At first, we see him looking for Shalewa everywhere and she keeps avoiding him like the plague. The next thing, we see him in a restaurant as he sees couples um, do what couples do, touch each other. <laughs> Are you good, man? Jesus! Five weeks go by fast, Tiwa is now ready, if you know what I mean. And the baby is now 10 years old, I think. Um, from my graph, you obviously know I know nothing about children. But because Tiwa is ready and Aminu is a honeyman all through the day, my guy just kept on checking the time so he can run home to do the do. Then he gets a surprise visit from ADHD. Huh? This looks really good. I love it! Why don't you tell me? Because... You know can we, can we, can we talk okay, about look, the email, the email, no, no. can we talk okay, about so the email, please? Wait. The end of the episode, we see Mohamed propose to Shaliwa. Talk about reading the room. She has avoided you all episode and you think she will say yes. I'm going to go outside near the main gate. You go see me till you find. Come, go deal with that. And that's how the episode ended. What do I think? I have mixed feelings. I liked the episode because it was warm. It was nice, it was sweet. But I believe there are some places that they should have cut because it just felt long. But I also understand that episode 1 is like expose for what is going to happen. And honestly, nobody can predict the future. But I will predict. But what I'm expecting, I'm expecting there to be havoc. I'm expecting plane crashing, lions biting, sharks. Oh, the shark make noise. And also, my biggest um, expectation is Mohammed will be denied and someone would have to take over. It's finally time guys, I'm just here to tell you I'm in episode 2. Look out for a guy named Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> That's my name in the show. <laughs> what do you think? Tell me, I would like to see your expectations or your opinion about episode one. Let's argue in the comment section. Let's fight. I'm there for a very long time. All right. It's been long since uh, I ended the YouTube video. So, uh, bye. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're probably seeing some videos. Um, on the right, you see a video I would want you to watch. On the left, you could also subscribe. Um, I'll show you a friend. I stood up all through this um, recording because my chair is bad. I'm sweating like hell. Bye guys. <laughs>